hey my baby dolls welcome back to my channel y'all my nails <laughs> it feels so weird when i'm waving and i have no nails on i'm getting them done this week because y'all i can't take too long without my long nails y'all already know this i talk about this all the time and uh, of course i'm just using my anastasia beverly hills on my brows first things first we're gonna do the face and then we're gonna get to the hair Right here on my face, y'all, I'm breaking out for some reason, and I think I believe it's my menstrual coming, so y'all know when that time is coming, you break out in the same area, it can be annoying. <laughs> to conceal the brows, I'm using the Concealers L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealers, and I used two, and I mixed them both with the color Caramel and Toffee. I mixed those two shades together. So for eyeshadow, I am using the Jackie Anna palette. I use that shade there, and that is in, I believe, it's Edges. Yes, it's Edges. Um, I haven't used this palette since the first time I reviewed it and showed you all. So here I am using the palette, um, and I'm just taking that color right above my crease. And this is working as my transition shade. And then I went ahead and took the color Credit. Now this will uh, be right in the crease. I'm taking that chocolate dark brown and I'm just giving it some more depth into the eyes. And I'm just making sure I blend that out right into the crease. So then I took Lituation color and I took that right on my lid. This color here is kind of weird a little bit, but it's cute. It's like a purple and then it gave me brown in a kind of way. So yeah, it's, it is a shimmer shade and I used uh, this color right on my lid. I use my fingers to apply because I pick up my product normally with shimmer shades more than a matte shade with using a brush. So yeah, shimmer shades definitely works better with applying it with your fingertip. And here I'm just using my NYX liner. I usually do my dramatic wings, but I didn't do that this time. And I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Of course, I'll have the shade that I'm using down below.
Now I'm using the Huda Beauty. This is their Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. Um, I have this. I have had this in my makeup kit for the longest, but at first I didn't like it. This is my um, like fifth time trying it, and now I do like it. This is in the shade Cinnamon Bun. Um, this has been out for a little bit of a while now. If you guys have this, let me know your thoughts on how you like it. And now I'm just taking the Morphe palette. This uh, is the Morphe eyeshadow palette, but I'm using this as a contour. Those two shades that I used was the shades Evolve in Sunder. And I'm just using that for contour. So for blush, you all, I've been obsessed with using the Nubian 2 eyeshadow palette. I've, I've been taking the same color from this palette called Madagascar, that orange, that pretty orange, and I took that as my blush. And y'all, I love it so much. It's like, I'm obsessed. And I'm using the NYX lip liner, matte lip liner in the shade Downtown Beauty. Now on top, I placed this NYX liquid suede. Cream lipstick. This is in the shade 04. Now, you all, I was not liking the way this felt on my lips. Like the formula, the texture, it is cream lipstick. And I really wasn't feeling it. So I did take my napkin and kind of like blotted it a little bit off. Just a little bit. The color is pretty. And I just don't like the feel of it. It's either matte for me or a gloss, y'all. I just what it just wasn't it <laughs> and I took my Morphe and NYX spray of course to set my face and I use um, this palette here y'all know I've been obsessed with using this palette for a highlighter and it just been getting the job done okay <laughs> and I did use some bottom lashes again I just took one strip of lash and I put it um, right in the middle just one and then I took my mascara of course and just made my real lashes kind of come down a little bit. I don't have no bottom lashes. I just try to make it look like I have some down there. So that's how I did that. <laughs> and it's now it's time for this wig, y'all. I am reviewing Genius Wig. I am going to just go ahead and put a little bit of foundation in my lace so that it can blend with the lace of the wig. And here is the wig here right out the package, freshly out. This is the natural texture it comes in. I'm going to talk more about the texture and all of that and why it looks the way it does more in the video. Here is the lace. It looks very good, y'all. Like, so bomb. It already come in a middle part for you. Here is the inside of the construction. This is a six-part deep lace. You do get lace in the back too as well, comb on the side, comb in the back, adjustable strap in the back too as well. I am using Got To Be Freeze and Got To Be Spray to apply this lace. Now you all for the lace here on this unit, this is a pre tint transparent lace so it makes everything look very natural as you all can see it looks super realistic the lace and it is kind of pre-plucked for you already I did not pluck this wig and it lays down really really well it is a thin lace I always say thin lace always, always apply a little bit, bit better and it looks way better and natural. So yeah, I love it a lot and I just kept it natural part in the middle that it came in and um, I did apply my scarf so that it can lay down really well, nice and flat. And of course I used my blow dryer so that it can dry in place and make sure when you're drying your lace that you have it on cool, not hot because if you do have it on hot, it will just move around and it won't dry really well. 
So um, you will have some extra lace that you'll need to cut off. And here I'm just taking the extra lace um, off the wig so that my ear can, you know, fit comfortably ear to ear. So you all, I do have their Wet and Wavy 13 by 6 Deep Parting Lace Brazilian Human Hair Wig. This is in 16 inches long. And you all, I'm going to show you guys um, how you can wear this hair super versatile, whether it's straight or curly. I do have my water in my coconut curls. Now, I couldn't find my damn spray bottle, so y'all don't be getting on me about why my water isn't a cup, okay? We're going to get things done. <laughs> so, I am going to take one side. I'm going to wet one side, and um, it should go curly, so let's see how this goes. I'm just wetting it and wetting it. Uh, first, before using the any product, I'm just using the water. So as you guys can see, the wave is coming in. The texture, I hope you guys can see really well how the texture looks. I just started to take it piece by piece, and I just used my water first. I, I didn't want to use the coconut curls. I wanted to see what the water did by itself alone first to see if it works. And you guys, it does. Here is the waves coming in. At first, y'all, I was kind of giving up. I'm like, is this going to work? But it's actually working. So now that I know it works with just water, I just took the coconut curls and I just lather it slowly all through the hair. And y'all, I love this because it always works with my wet, my curly or wavy hair. It just makes the curls and waves uh, more intense. It brings it out a little bit more and it makes it more curly and wavy. It just brings out the curls more. So if you're looking for something, y'all, to wave your curly hair with, I will definitely get this product. I'll leave it down below. And y'all, y'all see these curls? It's popping, okay? So I went ahead and took my flat irons and we're going to go ahead and see how well it takes with heat with making it straight. So let's see. So as you guys can see, I've been going over and over with it with heat, and this is what it looks like when you flat iron it. This is the look of it, so that's with the heat, and then the other side is without heat. And I'm just, I just went ahead and went back and forth and back and forth with it to see how straight it can get, and that is the straightest this hair gets. Now, um, this hair texture does come in silky straight version, kinky straight version. I'm not sure which version I have, but of course I'll make sure I have it down below. I believe mine is in kinky straight version, but I don't want to see you guys off, but I will have it down below. I don't have that information. Now this is what it looks like all straightened out, and the other side is wet. So I believe this hair is supposed to give you like that real natural hair look, but this one is your real hair. You know how when you blow dry your hair, you straighten it, it doesn't really give it a straight, straight type of silky, silky look, but it just gives you that natural look. So this, I feel like that's what this hair is giving. This is what my hair looks like when I straighten it out. Um, so this you guys can see it's very versatile. You can wear it either way you want, natural or wet and curly. I definitely um, love the wet look a lot, so I did uh, wet the other side. And as you guys can see, this side right here that I'm touching is kind of getting dry. So when it dries, it will, you know, um, grow a little bit on you. The curls will. And this side is still a little wet. But I love how wet this hair looks. Let me know your thoughts of which one you like the best. I do feel like this is nice to take when you're going on vacation and things like that, especially when you're going somewhere with water. You can wear it either way, and it will still look good, okay, honey? So I definitely like it because it's versatile. You can't go wrong with a versatile unit. Of course, baby dolls, let me know your thoughts down below and what you think. If this is your first time watching, don't forget to subscribe. I love you, baby dolls. See you all in my next video.